G'day guys, Luke here again. Um, rear of the Odyssey now, just gonna have a look at the shower pod. Uh, so just gonna give you a quick overview on how to set this up and pack it back away. Uh, one thing I do wanna outline on this one is that it does have a reverse camera, which isn't standard. But being that the Odyssey doesn't have the rear bar, that's where we do fit the cameras. So we do switch them between higher and lower, just dependent on obviously setup of what's internals as to where to run the wiring. Uh, but it is an option just so you know. So a rear pod, so with the rear pod, you've got two latches one on either side now these have usually got R clips in as well just to stop these from coming loose during transit so first thing I'll do is I'll take the little R clip out loosen one side off loosen the next side off and then from there being that this is on gas struts this is now going to lift itself up so just while we've got it at the, this position you can see that the tent itself lives in a false floor which is just zipped in and holding that in position you've got your light here which is switchable You've got a holder for your shower rows, which I'm gonna show you in a second. And then your shower points are actually just down here, which will come through the tent once we set this up. So when we wanna drop this cubicle down, obviously I'm not on grass now, so I'm not gonna be able to tent this down, but I can give you an overview of just how to get it down and in position. So firstly, we'll unzip this false floor, which will allow the tent to fall down. Like so. Now what you'll see with the um, shower tent, it's actually got press studs on this. So you can actually press stud it to the framework of the trailer, which in turn stops the um, tent from moving when it is windy, it stops it from blowing away from the trailer. And um, you can see in here also that you have got a little shelf in here. So once you've pressed the, this into position, you can utilize this area for your shower gels and things like that. I'll put a bit of a light on there just so you can see. So once that's all pressed into position, this is gonna do across the bottom on both sides. You'll see that your shower, your shower cap actually fits through there where you've got nice easy access to the two taps, so hot and cold. One I found earlier, a shower rose. I didn't prepare that, I promise. So this will actually screw into the middle of these fittings, which obviously connects it up then. Can be a bit fiddly just because the two taps are in the way, so I tend to just point it to the top. Once that's screwed in into position, this will just locate onto the holder. Now you will find a lot of the time with this when you are using the shower, um, you'll see here there's a little floor switch which just basically cuts the floor down so it's great for conserving water once you've found your temperature instead of having to turn it off at the actual taps you can just basically knock this nozzle off which in turn will cut the floor down and allow you to conserve a bit of water then until you need to wet off again. So nice and easy to set up. There is eyelets on either corner of this where we can peg it down. Um, as I said earlier, being on where on concrete, I can't do that here. Um, but this will help for a lot of quick stops, being able to fix it to the trailer and then being able to peg it in from there. You do also have a mesh flooring, which isn't in this one at the minute, that's Velcroed in. If you don't need the flooring, obviously you can take it out like we have done here. But nice and easy, you've got a door on there, you can zip this over to get a bit of privacy. Alrighty, so back with the shower cubicle, I've just shown you how to set it up. I'm now gonna give you a quick demonstration on how to pack it back away. So first thing we'll do is we'll zip his door back over so we can access inside. We'll Velcro this back on. So it does have a Velcro tab in here where you can Velcro this out of the way. We'll undo his press studs, which we put on there earlier on. I'll take my shower rows out. Alrighty, so once you've got it all unprested off the actual base of the body, um, from here what I tend to do first is I tend to start these zips because it is quite hard to do it if you try and just stuff it in there without getting some kind of coverage just to tuck it into. It can make it quite hard. So on both sides I tend to zip them a little bit around first. Just be cautious that you're not catching the tent. Obviously the tent does want to try and get in there as, you, as you're zipping her up. So once you've got them started, there's no real pretty way of doing this. You've just got to grab it all. Bring it all together. And then actually tuck this back inside. So once you've got that inside, because you've already started your zip, that's going to hold it for you. 
and then you can zip around from there on each side. So once you've got it to this point, it's going to carry on holding itself. So we just need to do the finishing touches then. So we do get quite asked quite often if this can be done by one person. Um, as you've just seen, it can be done. You've just got to start them zips. That's a little tip. And um, once you've got it all in, you can then bring this lid back down. The light itself runs off the actual BMS unit. So you'll turn that off when you turn your power off inside. We'll put us two little latches back on. And then the last thing what I always try to get everyone to remember is the little R-clip. 